Okay, 10 and 0 again. In practice for the tournaments coming up in a month time, everything's going to be focused on developing for the tournament. No pressure, we do have a prediction. I will be mentioning the prediction later on. And let's go here. Try and keep things as normal as possible. Looks like they may, or the flicking. We've got a flicker. Oh. Okay, that was a bit special. Okay, playing as black this time. 10 and 0. Let's push through the center, see if we can manage that. Oh, speed demon. Shall we see if he wants to exchange? Probably isn't because they want us to take so that they develop their knight. Oh, and they have done. Okay, right. Let's just take. Got a bit of a speed demon here. And uh, they've paused. They've brought the bishop. They went for the Fianchetto position and now they've brought the bishop here. That's hopefully um, a bonus for us. We can move the knight. Or are we going to go with a double in the pawns? Hmm. Moving it onto the rim back again. I'm going to move it back again. Just to be funny, let's attack the bishop. It's attacking our pawn, but we're hitting a higher piece. So it does give them time to go back again and Fianchetto it. So we might do something different and just push on to the knight. Get a fork. Okay, that was a bit silly. Could have just come back here, here. Places to go. Could have gone there. So we'll take. So a minor piece up at the minute. Let's just savor the moment. Bring the knight back. So we'll be looking to trade if we can. Try and improve the position a little bit at a time. There's no rush. So they're going to be attacking our knight. We could push this pawn to sort of block that off. Or do we need to worry so much and just develop a piece? I'm going to develop this bishop. See if we can castle. Go for the basics. If he attacks, then we can come here. Then if he's attacking us, then we can't. We've got space to jump here. And they've resigned. Okay. Okay, 10 minutes zero. And as I mentioned, just training now for the tournament in, in October. It's August now. So, well, it's back end of August, so really just a month. So let's just capture the knight. We'll just try and utilize our experiences. Just push this pawn. And okay, gets the 20, doesn't get a 20 pointer. Okay, fair enough. I was going to take the queen off the board. Just take. Oh, <laughs> it's a mouse slip. <laughs> ah, dear me. I meant to. I meant to drag the. Oh, it's a misclick then, not a mouse slip. Because, yeah, I meant to move the bishop. Take it with the bishop. I'm going to take with the king. Just get it out of the way and get this. Um, get this rook here. Done a mini mini castling. Yeah, let's just bring that here. It's attacking the pawn, and we could go here. He just attacks us anyway. Coming into the corner, but he does trap itself if he does do. Okay, so maybe the bishop comes to defend it. So that's probably what they're going to do. So then, do we just push this pawn just to block it? Just block it and then we can take it. So we can take it. 
And then we can take the bishop. So this all happened very quickly. I like it. I like it. Oh, now they're giving the pieces up. This is what they do, isn't it, when they've suffered a bad situation. Okay, they're still playing on. Let's just move the knight, attack one of these pawns. And they've resigned. Nice game. So as with any games that you're playing in chess, you get some good games and you get some really bad games. And I think we're getting a batch of not too clever games. Um, but the anonymous, you never know what level of play you're going to hit. So we're going to push here, supporting the pawn. So currently we're managing our time okay as well, which is quite good. We've not really had to focus on the time factor. I think the pattern recognition that we've been working on has helped us. I'm going to take and double the pawns here, no problem. So it gives you one less thing to think about, but when you get in those difficult games where you really do have to think, um, at least I, I know in my head I can move quickly um, to actually make up some time, even though it is zero increment. But I don't really want to rely on that aspect. I want to rely on putting the pressure on the opponent's time. Let's go and castle, if we can. Long pause coming on. Okay. And all I can see is this bishop coming here just to get it out into the game. They focus so much on this pawn. How do I get it? It's got no protection. Uh, so he's gone defending the pawn. We can just go and castle. So we can attack. Attacking the queen. Take the queen. Knight goes down. Attack the rook. Is there a better move? Anything? Anything magical? Nope, let's just attack the rook. Let's attack the rook again. It's got no protection, but it's just going to take. They do have two pieces blocking their rook, but their king will be have time to move here to block when they take. So their king will be on a white square. We've got dark square bishop. And the knight's protecting. Oh, well, nothing like what we said, was it? Okay, so I think they've realised, you know, because they've got the two pieces there. I'm going to attack the knight. Maybe the king moves on. Maybe the knight just moves back here. But if the knight moves back there, then it's kind of checkmate. So the king has to, I believe, come here. And then are we looking not that way? to attack this pawn or do we take the pawn problem is it's a fisher's basky thing yeah so i'm going to come here with the knight to double dose the attack so the king's the one protecting the knight so if we did attack if he went here safe i suppose because the knight's not really doing anything else and our knight is going to get trapped really isn't it so we go there put the check on King can go here. Yeah. King can go there. Bishop goes here. Then he just drops the pawn. Yeah, and the knight's not got any play in the game then. So I've like just trapped the knight for nothing. Hmm. Oh, it's so tempting. So tempting. But it's got no back movement i mean if it went there then we could just take the knight off the board but as we've found in one of the previous games that we just played really it's um don't try and make a bad egg a good egg if it's moldy and it's old and it's not workable you can't eat it you're not gonna don't use it yeah don't use it so let's just move Let's just move. I can't make that work. The knight will be trapped. So try this way. I mean, it could block. It's attacking the bishop. So he wants the bishop out of the way. Brings our pawns back into situation. 
Now it's got a check here, it's got the pawn. But we do have an escape route this time, so we may as well put the check on. King comes across because he doesn't want to go there because we get the knight for free. So we're never getting their knight, but we can try and improve the position. It's even Stevens with the pawns and stuff like that. So our knight can move here. That's the only place it really can go safely, isn't it? So we don't need to overthink that. Let's bring it here. So we, if the king stays there, we can do this, but they not don't look like they're that silly. So I think they'll move the king. Okay, they've not moved the king. So we can attack the rook, but I think the rook is going to come to save the day, isn't it? We're attacking this pawn as well. It's also attacking this pawn. Which one does he want to do? And let's see. Positionally, these pawns look tasty. It's equal. Well, if we take, he just takes the pawn. Come back and attack the thing. He comes back up again. Going to take... And he takes the pawn. We come back up again. He comes back up again. My king is a little bit far away, isn't it? So I'm going to try and just move it one space over. Just thinking if we're coming over to get these pawns. His king, his king is now far away. So we can actually move, can't we? Oh no, it's going to take our knight. What am I doing? It's going to take the knight and this king is just going to beat us a little bit so it should really be a draw but you know he's got two linked pawns i'm just trying to make my king the third pawn and that's what i was trying to say about is my king might be a bit slow but i think they made their slow by going back but it doesn't mean anything. Now it's just going to be like um, a holding position now. Let's just block here. I bet you I get zugs wanged. Doesn't look like I'm... Oh, I'm going to lose the thing there, aren't I? Nope. Let's take... Hmm, let's try that. Brain's just thinking of all the end games I've played and where I keep messing up the pot, you know, the movement of the pawn. So he moves, so I, I yeah, it's a zug swangy thing, isn't it? I'm gonna have to go back. Then his king comes here, but then I suppose we can hit them. But he's probably gonna hit our pawn. Yes, I have to go back. That's not good. Let's go here. If they push, we can take. And then we have this. I'm going to hit. Doesn't come across, so we can come across here. If he pushes, we could take. Yeah, so coming across. Can expect this. We take, I don't think he's going to do that, is he? Okay, because this pawn's supporting. But you'd think they would. But then we've got a nice passer there. Oh my gosh, we've got a nice passer there. The king's going to have to babysit that. Okay. Looks like we're rocking and rolling. End game practice worked in this one. Yes, excellent. Get excited in these end game ones where we're getting advantage. It's just showing that we we're picking things up, little tiny bits in these end games. We don't always get it right. The movement of the pawns, that type of thing, totally hit the zugzwang thing. You know where you're going backwards and you just don't find a way in. But on this occasion, it worked for us. So happy, happy bunny. Okay, ten minute game. 
Let's push through the center, blocking, and develop the knight. Attacking the pawn, make space for castling. The usual. Let's bring the bishop out. And aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. Let's push the pawn. Maybe could have brought the knights. And it's looking to just condense us in. Maybe all the attacks are going to start coming around on this side here. But let's not be afraid of that and just castle. Because they have to work. They're not getting it for free. You know, there's still efforts that they need to put in. Going to hit the bishop. Don't like this position, obviously, because the bishop never takes the knight. But let's just go with getting a bit of dishevelment around this area. Because they've not actually got their pieces developed apart from the bishop. So maybe we can win a bit of tempo by causing a bit of confusion in the center. Pawns obviously dropping onto the knight. So I, I'm not going to be shocked by that. Because they want to continue the pressure towards our king, Gary. So I would be surprised if they did take with this but Oh, they have taken with that pawn. So we'll take with the knight. So they're still wanting to push. So we'll take this pawn with the support of the queen attacking their bishop. So momentarily we've got rid of the major pawn attack. But the issue we do have is that. I'm going to take here. It's like they're trying to ignore and looking maybe to do the you're attacking me i'll attack you type thing okay yeah they are doing that all right is there anything else let's go and hit the king well we can't do that just yet Oof, sorry getting up eager let's hit their king with a check Try and get these pieces mobilized. Maybe the bishop or the rook. Bishop or the rook. Rook can come here. So if we go with the rook first. If they don't find any magic. I think the magic is this here blocking. But I suppose. Eek. Or is it the queen? Because the queen. Queen comes here. Then he has to go here. Uh, we can't come back here because the knight's protecting. If the rook goes there, he can go here. Can go there or he can go there. No, he can't go there because the queen's there. Oh, actually, no, he can because the rook's blocking the queen. Rook or the queen? Queen. Hmm. Queen. Oh. Go with the queen. Seems to manage more squares. It's going to have to go here. But there's nothing else after that. This white square bishop really wants to get here. So we'd have to move the rook just a bit. But they could just push the pawn to block the bishop. Open the door, then that would be a mate, I think. Well, the knight comes in. Oh, locking everything now. So the rook is going to attack our queen. So we could attack the rook, but the rook does have this. Hmm. Or if we take, then the knight takes, maybe. Queen takes with a check. I'm going to take. But he doesn't have to do that, though, does he? His rook can come here. Oh, doesn't do that. Put the check. Oh, we can't take the rook. Oh, we can't take the rook. Damn, didn't see that. Oh, I think I've messed this up, Anta. Oh, I think I've messed this up. Do we need to get this out queen's going to get hit or do we just get his queen oh no we can't we've got bishop and a knight against two rooks 
Oh, I've messed it up. We go here, we just hide into the corner. One of Dark Square. Oh, damn, I think I've messed that continuation up. That's a shame. Let's bring the butt knight here. I'm going to have a look at that one. We had a clear win and I think I just totally fluffed it. Totally fluffed it. Yeah, so this, well, we might be okay with the bishop and the knight. I don't think we have too much of an issue. They'll, they'll be looking to trade off the rook. Hmm. Well, well, well. What do you do? What do you do? Yeah, we're doubling up on here. Let's go here. I'm gonna have to play defense nanny now. Block off the open file. Yeah, it's looking to double. You're gonna have to block it off. Get the knight up. Get a fork on the rooks somewhere. King's gonna move though, puts pressure on the knight. Yeah, it's moved already. So, let's bring the rook here. This pawn's dropping, doesn't like this knight. Doesn't like the position it's gonna be trying to get. Let's just drive it in and be ready to come back again or to come back here. Maybe not here because I don't think there's much there, but I suppose it can dance here. So I'm plumping more for this. Then we're on this pawn here. And we're not getting chased around. Although if we go there, we can come and attack the pawn. So if we go here, we're, we're defending the pawn. This pawn's been a hit twice. But they'll be happy to trade one of the rooks off, I suppose. So I think one of the rooks will come and defend. Because either way, they'll have an x-ray through to ours. So they're not doing that. So they're just waiting for us to take... And then put an X-ray through to our rook, so at least to get the rook off the board. Oh, they're not doing that either. Let's go here. Do have a mini support with the pawn. Or are they going to go with the classic and then forget that the bishop's attacking here? That would be nice. Yes, I've got to remember to go back to that bit where I, I, I fluffed it up. It didn't look like I was fluffing it up, but then it just occurred and I'm like, what? It felt like a proper advantageous position. So he's on a white square, his rook's coming around, but we can push the pawn. It's going to double whammy this pawn, isn't it? So if we push, then we're not protecting this pawn anymore. Let's push. Give them something to think about, I think. Maybe. We're on five minutes at the moment. It's going for a double whammy. He's getting our rook, but the knight is protecting. Let's push. It's gone quiet. You can feel the tumbleweed. Yes. Let's move the king. Let's 
let's take let's push oh they had it sewn up we take the bishop though we can push the pawn now the thinking is just going to block it block it annoying king Oh, the rook comes back. I think the king's just going to sit there for the rest of the game. Oh, the rook comes back. It's on a white square. Knight comes up. Supporting the bishop, obviously. Hit the king. Comes back again. Get the rook off the board. And start pushing. Uh, let's move the king first. We can take time now. That was like a miracle that just transpired on the board there. Lovely game. Oh, we were going back. Sorry, I was going back to that bit where I'm... Totally fluffed it up. It's okay sitting there celebrating. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's horrendous. Queen coming here. What did I do wrong? I mean, it's so clear as day. Queen g2 was attacking the rook. Okay, we didn't do that, but it's. It's not showing as a bad thing at the minute, so let's... We captured, again, it's not showing as a bad thing there. Just minus five, or, yeah, so it's not showing that bad still, so it's okay. Minus five, still workable. It's minus three, still workable. Well, queen d4 check. Oh, I didn't see that. comes back again but then it's like just draw moves isn't it queen f2 check c3 queen c5 check yeah, what is that yeah that's just going backwards and forwards dude knight c6 no okay right so let's have a just a little bit more so that's minus six there there, there, there. so let's forget that taking thing oh it does say take the um knight as well right let's look at it from here rook f2 so it was the rook it wasn't the queen, it was the rook. Saying king d1, but we said here, and is that a... Oh, that's a checkmate, dude. Oh, 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 oh. oh it was the rook move. Oh, all the dash. Uh, playing as white, 10 minutes, zero increment game. And let... Just attack. And let's hit the pawn in the center. Let's grab. Let's make space for the king castling. Let's support the pawn. Castle. Now look at the tail of the tape here. Are my pieces giving my king company? Not at this moment. So let's look at how we can rearrange this situation or do we need to sitting here is no good come back the bishop's just going to come and x-ray through to the queen yep 
But let's just um, x ray through to their bishop, through to their queen. And it's everything happy at this moment. Knight could go here, but this pawn is going. Do we go with this or do we hit the bishop to see what it wants to do? Which we know it's just going to go here. It's not taking. Then we go here. Are they looking to challenge and open up the space in front of the king? Or once this bishop comes here, it's attacking this pawn twice. Have we got enough sting to push this? They take, knight takes, but then their knight is on here as well. So do we bring the rook here first? Let's just bring the rook here first before we do anything. We may just hit our bishop. Knight's in. Currently we're not really going to be taking because obviously the bishop has got the x-ray through to the queen. So we can move the queen up a little bit, but it drops into the knight. So we can bring the bishop to protect because the knight is attacking the bishop as well. So I think really just keeping it simple, let's bring it back. But going backwards, we want to be looking to go forwards. We don't want to fall into this trap of being defense nanny, do we? That does not impact our game. The idea for me is like we've come backwards. If they don't take, then we can go forwards and take. Okay, so we've got forward action now to attack. So that was the that's the big letdown for us is that you know going backwards and then not being able to go forwards. So they've got two pieces attacking, like we mentioned. We do have two pieces defending. We did say we're potentially going to hit the knight. But this time there's no knight supporting and the rook would be in the center of the board. Do have the bishop that's got this angle here as attacking this pawn. So that might be a bit of a benefit for us. I'm actually going to go with it we've got multiple forward attacks that can be done one being this one being this i'm not really a fan of this I, I, you know i'm gonna have to probably get used to it bishop here on drops is on the night it's not a very good position for us is that i'm going to take Knight's obviously moving to get the bishop, but the bishop's got no protection at the minute, so this rook's probably coming here to support. Or they might do this to double up. They're not doing that. See, I'm I'm loath to take the knight. I have to get used to doing it. It's one thing I just don't like doing because of that bishop having that diagonal there. And you're just spending the rest of the game just trying to defend it. So maybe we just don't do it, do we? Just bring it here. It doesn't have the pawn chasing at this minute, so we could come here with the bishop. Yeah, so he's going to have to move his bishop if he's going to do that. But, um, oh, ah, double the pawns. Let's double the pawns. Oh, oh, he's rushing because he's getting this pawn. He's rushing because he's getting that pawn. Let's bring this knight here. Attacking the bishop. But trying to make space to maybe help the pawn out a bit. You can always tell when they've got some sort of strength or tactic going. They move dead quick. It's like the adrenaline's pumping inside them so fast. This pawn's not protected either. So maybe we could let that slide for a better position with the knight. Nope, it's not having any of that. Let's go. So it's still even Stevens. Got a bit of damage on the pawn here, but that can easily be rectified. Bishop's got no protection. Probably better here. Yeah, that's easily rectified. Rook could go and attack, but then the king comes here and then the rook's kind of just trapped in the center of the board. We could attack their pawn. 
Just trying to find the positives of it being in the center first before we bring it back. So it could attack the pawn. The rook's not going to come and attack, so I'll probably attack the bishop, but then we can do this. But then I suppose the bishop hits our rook. Does look okay. I think that looks okay to attack in the pawn. Rooks don't have any place in the center of the board unless it's to your benefit. Feels like it's a bit of a benefit here. Or not. Didn't even realize, you know, bishop coming defending. But the bishop's got all the way back. It's blocking the rook. So we could come here and attack this pawn or go here and attack the pawn. Because then we're still on that pawn. I'm going to go here. We might be spending too much time with this rook. They're probably eyeing up a back rank mate or something. Although we've got space here, but that's a bit dodgy. So we probably need white square space for the king. Lots of things going on now in my brain. It's just coming down to attack this pawn. Oh, like I said. Like I said, so we're going to take... We're supporting this pawn for a brief moment, but he's just looking to double up the pawn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's coming for the back rank stuff. So we could just hit, but then we lose the pawn. Yeah, if we hit, rook takes, bishop takes, rook takes the pawn. There's probably nothing we can do about it anyway, but... I'm just going to make space, get the king, hopefully I'll the king on a white square. I don't think we have time for that though, but... Hey, it's just going to come down, gets the rook off the board. It's not doing that just yet, it's really trying to condense our king. So if we go here, he drops down, so I'm going to go... First, and we can take with the king. Oh, it's got again that damn pawn thing with the bishop attacking. Okay, let him have it. It's been looking for that all game. That bishop putting a check on the king. Does it give them great stuff, or are we worrying about nothing? Making space. Making space. So do we just go and attack the rook now then? It's going to get the pawn. We don't want to give the pawn up. But we are plus one. But then it's going to get more pawns. Let's move the king off of this attack. It's a bit defense nanny this, but we, if they give us that time to get here, I don't think they will. I think they're going to get fed up and go for the exchange. Try and squeeze here. What's there? Mm, nothing much is there. King's on a dark square. Can't squish it with the bishop. Probably doing this to do this type thing. One of two moves. This one. Or this one. Can't move this. It takes the pawn. Boom boom defense nanny. Rook's got nothing. There's nothing up here for it, is there at all? No spaces whatsoever. Only if that pawn moves down, but nothing there. Nope. King's moved, so we could put a check on the king. While we're thinking, 
but it's got nothing on this. Could come here with the rook. Again, trying to maybe do a bit of this. Let's bring the rook up. Let's try and do this, and then maybe we can support this pawn while we're attacking the rook. Unless my king's getting some sort of condensation. Nope. Uh, they can see it. They saw it. So I think we can afford to trade down. We are plus one. Just don't want to improve their position. I think we can take. So if we go here, it's just going to come across, across. Yeah, I think we're going to take. Okay, right. Um... So now he's opened up his dark square bishop. He's feeling happy. We could attack the rook. Doesn't have to take though. He could just attack the bishop. But then we take his bishop. Where else is he going? He could come across here. Is it good? Is it good that we're doing that though? We're plus one. Pawns are split all over the place. I think it'll end up being a draw, won't it, if we did that? I don't think there's anything majorly bad that's going to happen. King comes across, start pushing the pawn. Nah, can't come across. I'm gonna hit the rock. I think it looks like it's a draw, maybe. Yeah, so bishops of office of opposite colour as well. Is it going to be a draw? Oh, they're playing fast, so it's like they're saying, no, it's not a draw. Okay, right. Bring the bishop back here. Or oh, here. Let's bring it here and then... Oh, it's going to get hit. It's going to get hit by the pawn. Go here. Sit it here. Mm -hmm. Move the king, looking to attack the pawn. Bishop comes up to defend. Push this pawn, locking that down. Okay, let's go here. the pawn locking that down so i'm thinking of a king walk all the way around i don't know if it's going to work so attack the bishop pawn sorry bishop defends let's see if we can this king could just block us off and create that draw thing so we probably won't get around you know, to here to support these pawns because we have a pawn majority. Let's move the king. Let's move the king. Yeah, it's not going to let us pass, is it? You shall not pass. Two minutes. So I have to move swiftly, and let's, let's come down. Bishop protects the pawn. Bishop doesn't protect the pawn, but if we take, he takes. Push, take, push. Bishop protects, and that's where the draw land begins. I do have a passer that could push. So he's coming around for our pawns. Ooh. That's going to be tricky. And he's got a dark square bishop. And this pawn lands on a dark square. Oh, Chamale. That's not good. Ah. That's not good. I'm going to have to give up my bishop, aren't I? 
yeah because it's going to push the pawn moves here i protect here i'm going to have to give my bishop up he's just going to push We do have two linked pawns out of it, but I don't know. Goes there, we take. King goes here. We take. King comes for the pawn. We push the pawn. It's supported. It's not doing that. It's coming protecting the pawn. So push. Then he pushes. We take. He takes this pawn. Yeah. Bishop's always going to be stopping that. That's the problem, isn't it? That is the problem. So we're both going to have to give our bishops up, it looks like. Although on this occasion it might not be. I think he's trying to get this one past. There might be magic in his stuff, you know. Takes no, he's not doing that yet. Damn it! It's not letting us get. Ah, oh. fifty-eight. Oh, my seconds are going. Oh my lord! It's all over, isn't it? Oh, his pawn's coming down. And the bishop's blocking the damn advancement of this pawn. Oh, no, this is not clever. This is not clever. We do have a passer thing here. A draw. Or not. This king can't stop. It looks like they've left the game. Woo! Probably made a mess of that somewhere, but I, I think we had a loss earlier on. I just want to check that one. We'll claim victory quick time. Let me just have a look at this. I'm always interested in endgame type stuff with these pawns. Right, okay. So here. So moving down, push. No, it doesn't like that. Oh, I should have just taken the A3. This is why this is good to do these things. Thinking he takes though, it takes then. Oh, we'll take this. Then obviously you think the king's just taking the pawn. C4. King B2. Or maybe no. Human, human, come on. C5, keep pushing. It ends on a white square, so the bishop's gonna have to give itself up. Okay. Alright. Okay, fair enough. So we should have just not pushed past. So this is why it looked, felt like we were losing. Because we pushed past. Yeah, look at that. What's it saying? Bishop e7 check. But no. They went there. We pushed. They captured. Yeah, big massive losses. Yeah. I thought it didn't feel right. So that's not a celebration at all. We may look at all that. Yeah, minus eight. Yeah, definitely not a celebration game. Um, it's more a, definitely a learning aspect there. Felt like it was we weren't winning really. It didn't didn't sit right. We should have taken that pawn. Didn't feel confident taking it, but it would have benefited our position if we had done rather than pushing past thinking it's oh we've got a pass pawn. That didn't help. Hmm. Okay. Nice one. Lane is black. Let's block this pawn. Uh, 
So let's. It's like left hand driving when they do that move. It does tend to throw me off because this knight comes out and then it's doing that fried liver rubbish. But let's just go here. Because we can kind of reverse it with the bishop attacking here if the knight does. And it's not doing that. Alright, let's bring the bishop here. Still could do it though. There, so we have to be mindful of that. We'll bring this back maybe. It's not doing that good. So let's just open up the dark square bishop. Maybe attack. Depending on what they do next. All right, so it looks like they're keeping tension. Not a fan of keeping the tension, but let's develop a piece. We're attacking. It's time, time to keep tension and time not to keep tension. Let's just go here. Bishop's obviously coming out. No, nope. all right, um, let's castle. Don't overthink it, try and get arty, just Nice and steady. Going to hit this pawn. Going to take the pawn. Take the bishop. Knight's going to take. No, it's not taking. Not doing anything. Best position for the knight. Knight here, knight here. Let's go here. Don't know why I'm drawn to that move, but let's take this bishop attacking the queen. Let's take the knight, get the pawn, so we'll be plus one. Okay, a bit of position there. Pawn's a bit free, but we're not going to take it because obviously we'll lose this pawn because the rook will just come across. So that's greedy munching to the extreme. And shall we attack there? Queen is coming. Let's attack the rook. Take, queen coming, not yet, no. Okay, I knew they knew that pawn was there. We could x-ray through to the queen. I do believe the rook is just gonna come here, but I suppose we can take a pawn. Am I going too far away? Let's just bring the queen here, don't overthink it. One or two moves ahead in terms of calculation. Maximum being four. You don't need to go crazy with calculation. It's just trying to find the better moves in that calculation. And I'm still smarting from that one where the queen and the rook. I could have just put the rook in front of the queen. In front of the king. And then brought it down and got a checkmate if they'd have moved the king that way. Oh, so simple. Well, I don't understand why I didn't see it in the game. I've done the calculation up to one point and then I was just, I said, no, it's not going to work. But then when looking at the evaluation, it's right there. That's the thing I want to get rid of seriously in the tournament for the tournament. We we'll need to get rid of that. Because a few of the games that we brought back from the last tournament when we did the evaluation, you know, it just showed key points of just overly respecting the opponent's position. And they didn't have fantastic great positions at all. We could have just used our calculation a little bit better and just could have either got a draw or we could have get, gained advantages in the games. So that's why I'm happy and comfortable about my chess because at any given moment, any given time, if I'm using the mantra properly, um, I don't see much of an issue. The rook could come here now, putting two onto this. Uh, but obviously the rook's just going to come and defend. And then the knight can come here. And then it's x-raying through. So they might stop all of that. But we'll just bring the rook here anyway. Expecting the rook to come here. Knight comes here. Knight doesn't want to move because the rook will take the queen. But oh, oh I'm gonna, I thought he's got a back ranker, but he's not. The back ranker would be here. It's attacking our queen because the knight is supporting. Oh. Is this a move order? We take. He takes. Oh, that don't work, does it? That doesn't work. So I think we can still maintain. We can come here or we can come here. 
because it's no longer supported. Yeah, so I think coming here is better. Because we still have this and it doesn't have a supporter to, to attack again. So we can still look to attempt to do this, but I suppose he could drop the pawn to stop that. But we still got this pressure. So the tempo is he moves back. Then we've got the tempo to be able to bring the knight here and attack the knight. Doesn't mean that we're winning anything like, but we do have that rook being able to take the queen. Then we're looking to try and find some way to get into our king with their queen. So we can take the knight. Take the knight, then his, his rook's going to come here, isn't it? Looking for the back ranker. But then we can take with a check. Okay, let's hit. Or maybe the queen even comes for the back ranker. So we have to be steady. I think they're just they're going to go there. So do we attack the queen? Or well, the rook's going there, like we said. So we'll take. So we'd have the check. It's hunting that square. So if we bring the queen here, stopping that now. No more back rank threat things. They're flicking like crazy. Are they leaving the game? Okay, to assist the prediction for the next over the board tournament, the under 1700 um, international, obviously it's a congress, but it's got the new title international um, chess competition that's coming up in October. And just to see what potentially our prediction is going to be. So we've gone in on the strongest chess site in the world, never mind looking at the ratings. Um, I use this site because it is the hunk, strongest site in the world. You don't know what you're playing, who you're playing, whatever, and they're really quite strong. Um, so we're going to play four games. So that's the amount of games we're going to be playing in the actual over the board tournament. And we'll see what the results are from this. And then we'll, we'll see if we're going to go with that prediction or not, depending on the kind of reality of it. Let's have a look and see. It's 10 minute games, these ones, so they're a lot shorter than the OTB games. And let's crack on. Just push here. <laughs>
Thank you.
Okay, that's uh, game one. As quick, like we say, don't look at these ratings. These players are strong, you know. Um, and I think it, it is a true reflection of the kind of strength that I'm going to be facing um, in the tournament. It's the under 1700 area. And like this 1100 is definitely not 1100. <laughs> Even just from those movements they made. So yeah, um, so that's one. We'll mark that as one win. So we're playing four games. So we'll just jump straight in and play the next one. Although really it should take a genuine break. Um, we'll just go in.
Oh, what did I mean? Oh. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> totally blindsided by that. Oh, dear. Wouldn't have even worked even if I brought this rook here either. Oh, yeah, that was a diamond move. See, 1100s, really strong, you know. It's, it's a good example to use for my prediction. So that's one loss. So one win, one loss at the moment. So we'll crack on and play the next game. So this is trying to give us the prediction for the competition. And also I'm just pro proving again for myself, you know, that even at this rating level, you know, the players do play really strong. Or maybe I just play really weak, whichever way it is, you know. So we'll go in, play another one. So we've got two more to play and see how we get on. Make sure it was recording. <laughs>
So, okay. So that's two wins. And we've got one more game to play. So we'll just play that one straight away.
Oh my days. Three wins. Three wins, one loss. For the prediction. Obviously, the reality, that's quite good. That's just um, showing that we're getting into the mix of our evaluations, the things we need to practice and learn. Uh, but going into the competition, I said that this was going to be like the prediction, but three wins and one loss might be a little bit steep. So I think really probably going for a more practical one of maybe one and a half, either one win and a draw or three draws, which will make it one, one and a half. So I think we probably bring it down from this free wins thing and break it in half type thing and um, be more realistic with one and a half that's what we'll go with